Hi, I'm Nagesh Prabhati with Quest AI. I'm going to show you how um, you can build a React component using Quest by automatically converting your design vision into a working React code component. With Quest, you can start with a fully formed Figma design if you have, um, or you can even start with uh, a screenshot. So this is what I'm going to show you in this demo. So let's say you have a screenshot or even a hand-drawn wireframe, um, something like that, uh, that you come out of your brainstorming session and you want to build this into Quest. And this is how you do that um, um, by importing this into Quest. So you log into your Quest account first, um, and then you come to this new component tab, um, and you can upload your um, hand-drawn sketch or a wireframe. So this is my hand-drawn sketch. I'll just verify that. That's the one I'm importing, and then click Open. Okay, so this is when our, our uh, the algorithms go to work on it and create this component, right? So um, this is what our, our algorithms generated. Um, when I say this, this is a React.js code um, uh, that was generated in, in a couple of seconds and it's running on the browser, right? So um, just to go back and take a look at the component, um, from the hand-drawn sketch, our algorithms were able to figure out that there's an image, there's a um, there's a title text, and there's some input fields, checkbox, buttons, um, and links. And they're able to um, uh, generate all of that um, in this component layout. The second thing is our models were able to figure out the layout um, in. in uh, draw some of them uh, in certain alignment, uh, like left alignment, center alignment, and so on. Um, and also this layout is completely responsive. So uh, this goes across different screen sizes and, and grows and reduces organically. Now, the last thing, the important thing is, uh, these are not just any text boxes or any buttons on the screen. These are components from your design system and your component library, right? So let's go take a look at the code. Great, so this is the code that was generated for that component. Um, as you can see, these components are coming from your design system. They have the specific uh, color palette. They have the specific look and feel. Uh, button have certain behavior for like on hover, on click, and so on. So these are coming from your design system, uh, from your component library. As you can see from the code that's generated here, it's, it's importing the design system um, and creating all of these components. Uh, this is styled um, as styled components, but you can uh, uh, down the road integrate with your Tailwind CSS components, or you can have specify like CSS in a centralized way uh, um, uh, if you, that's what you prefer. Uh, the code is clean, it's extendable, um, and also importantly, we generate the entire app framework. Um, if you are starting a new app, um, it cr creates the entire framework for you. For example, these are the design themes that are generated um, automatically from your design systems. Now, once the code is ready, you can just push this to your GitHub um, or you can download this so you can build locally. So either way, in this case, I'll push this to my GitHub and download it locally. Now my front end is fully built. Uh, the presentation is fully um, uh, built for me. Um, and as a developer, the next thing I do is add some functionality to this front end, right? So for example, when users enter some information into these fields, maybe I want to validate that information. Maybe I want to take that information and pass it on to a backend API. So in this case, let's say I want to validate the email address that they enter, right? So um, instead of hand coding that, I can use this text prompt to um, generate some code. For example, I can say validate email and hit enter. Great. So the code was generated. And uh, in this case, let's go back, take a look at the code. Okay, now we have a new hook file uh, that was generated. Um, and as you can see, we have some email validation present. So there's a regex that's created. If there's some special characters uh, like uh, ampersand or dollar sign, uh, it throws an error. Um, the, the main thing is this code was generated by uh, GPT, but um, our models were able to transform that code and seamlessly fit into this, uh, uh, into this app that was existing already. So the functions and the layers and the props and bindings were seamlessly uh, uh, woven back into the, the, the code that was already existing. So as a developer, I can continue to use this. I can continue to generate more code through more prompts, um, but I can also like hand code. I can type my own business logic. Um, I can uh, create my own extension on top of this. So I can do more things with this. For example, let's say I want to take this, uh, the inputs that I have from email address and password, and I want to post this to my endpoint um, where I can validate and, and add it to my um, user table if the user doesn't exist. So I can do a prompt like this. So I can say integrate with, uh, this is my endpoint, 
post endpoint on enter button click sending email and password on the on the body right so you can provide detailed commands like this okay let's take a look at the code that was generated uh, let's go to the hook file and you see this is the code that was generated by GPT it created a, um, a fetch post method um, and it's passing the email and password uh, to this endpoint so let's run this and see so we can try it out right here so let me try out AI and some password and sign in and let's go to the interface here um, and see if it brings it in see that's tested quest.ai that was added to the to the table i'm going to show you how you can uh, convert your figma designs into react components in this particular example let's say you're building a grid uh, of elements right so this could be a product um, a list page where you have your grid of products or any kind of a uh, list of uh, list of items that's in the form of grid that you're building out. So this is my Figma design uh, with this grid uh, element um, and I have my sample card uh, which I have nested into this grid. Um, I've used auto layout to set it up and I have my elements coming from design system. So this buttons and all my uh, layers are coming from my design system. Um, so now I want to convert this into a React component. This is how I do it. Right? So uh, first from your Figma plugin, um, get your Figma to React plugin. Uh, this is from Quest and you select the, the grid that you want to export and be sure to check this nested component um, to be included in the export and sync your component. So this gets exported to Quest and that will convert into your React component as we'll see in uh, just a few seconds. Now this is my component in Quest. Um, this is on the Quest editor at app.quest.ai. Um, so this is the, the component, the grid component that came from Figma. Uh, this is actual code, React.js code um, that's right now running on the browser. Um, so we can just uh, simply preview it. Um, so as you can see, this is a, a grid of um, a cards. Uh, this is responsive um, and uh, this is actual code running on the, on, on the browser. Uh, you can set up various settings that you want here if you want to change any uh, layout settings. Um, or you can also um, set up the grid. Uh, I can set up a grid feature here uh, that I just added um, to, to, make, to create a data source for this grid. Um, I can even go through each of these elements in the grid, uh, specific cards in the grid. Um, and I can go to the, the main component for these uh, uh, nested components, the product card. So if I click on that, it opens this uh, uh, the, the lower level product card component. Even this is responsive um, and I can pass some props uh, from the grid to the specific individual product cards. Um, now let me just go back to the grid component. And we'll take a quick look at the code. Um, if I click onto the code view, okay, that's the, the code for the grid. Right? So this is the React.js code generated automatically for you. Um, this brings in uh, my design system. In this case, it's MUI. Uh, it includes the nested component. Um, and uh, code generated uh, for you automatically. Um, and it's got the entire app code as well generated, included, including the design themes, um, as well as uh, this is the code for the sample card, uh, the individual uh, card presentation. Now, my presentation layer for the grid is all done, right? So if that's all I wanted to do, I could just uh, push my um, code to my uh, GitHub repo um, so I can pull it and work on it locally, or uh, other developers on the team can pull the code and, and continue to build on top of it. I could even directly download the code as well. Um, so either way it works, whatever works for you, you can do that. Or if I wanted to continue to build on it, I can continue to uh, do that here. I can make any code edits here. Uh, if I wanted to change anything on the presentation, I can do that here. Um, or um, what I did was to connect this uh, to some backend. Uh, for example, let's say I want to connect uh, the, the, the elements, the various uh, items in the grid uh, to a backend so we get some dynamic content that comes out. Um, so I used the hook file that was created for me um, and uh, I wrote this code snippet uh, to call um, a cat API so I can populate this grid with images of cats and uh, uh, the various types of breeds and description 
So this is a little bit of code snippet that I wrote um, to, to connect them up and let's run and see what it does. Great. There you have it. So this, now the grid is dynamic. Um, I'm getting all the, the items from the back end that I connected to. Uh, now I can insert this grid into any in this component into any page that I want um, and I could have it up and running. Great. So yeah, we went simply from a Figma design uh, to a working code component with the presentation layer built exactly as for our Figma design, as for our design system, and uh, we connected it to a backend so it shows dynamic content and uh, the code is ready to be uh, uh, deployed um, through a CI CD pipeline for testing um, or for um, other developers to build more on top of it. Quest works great for exporting individual components, or additionally, you can export your entire app as Create React App or Next.js. Every account gets at least two apps to try, and you can choose either MUI or Chakra UI as your component library. Design system syncs for colors, fonts, and shadows come from your MUI or Chakra UI Figma kit. Make changes and sync the kit to change the styling of all your components in your app. We have accessibility support with ARIA labels and HTML tags and you can create fully responsive component when setting up design with auto layout. Also, Quest uses the variants in Figma to create states when exported. Use those states for things like off, hover, and click states, or even make full web pages with variants of different screen sizes that come into Quest as breakpoints automatically. We have two different animation features, animate elements and animate states. Animating states is similar to Figma's smart animate feature and uses CSS animations to transition between the two or more states. You can also easily work with nested components, passing props to nested children. And we have very fast load times, as you can probably tell by our website. All new customers get a risk-free 14-day trial. Try it out and or book a free onboarding call with us. We can't wait to see what you build. Thank you.